Hi guys, it's Jen Evers with Quality Crafts here, and I'm doing the TMI tag today. So I've got two different lists. I don't know which one I want to follow, but I guess I'm just going to follow the one that I actually got tagged in. Fizzy Lifty Drink um, tagged me, and um, also uh, JB Lady Scrapper 48, I think that's her full name. Um, she tagged everybody, anyone who wanted to do it. So I'm just going to use um, Fizzy Lifting's um, list of questions. So number one, what are you wearing? You can see what I'm wearing. I'm finally able to wear my jeans. Um, it still rubs a little bit. I've been cut from about here to here. And the staples are all removed. And I'm doing awesome, but I don't want to get into all that because I will do a separate video for that. So um, number two, have I ever been in love? Yeah, probably too many times to count because... I am kind of addicted to love. Ever had a terrible breakup? Yeah, too many to count. Especially um, my last uh, divorce. That really sucked. But anyway, I have been married three times. Third time's the charm. I have a winner now. I'm gonna keep him. How tall are you? I am only f uh, 4'11". But I always tell everyone I'm five feet because it confuses the doctors. So when they say, how tall are you? I always go, five feet. Um, how much do I weigh? <laughs> uh, I actually weigh just under 110 pounds. Any tattoos? Yes, I have two tattoos. One is on my ankle and it's a fairy and one... I'm going to tell you the truth. When I went through that divorce, that hairy divorce I told you about, I wanted that man to kiss my ass goodbye, so I put a set of lips right on my ass, and I told him, you can kiss it. He was a real piece of work. Um, any piercings? Yes, I do have piercings. I have three in each ear. I had my tongue pierced. The hole is still there, but I don't put anything in it because it, it was... Um, starting to hit on the back of my teeth and cause problems and I had um, something removed which half the dentist laughed and said no the tongue ring would not do that and the other half said yes absolutely it causes damage whatever so I removed it my favorite show I'd have to say it's Dexter right now I like to watch Dexter I, I stream all my TV through Netflix and I watch um, well, Nurse Jackie I really love. I just got another one of that. And we also watch Enchanted, I think it's called. I know there's a whole bunch of them, but Dexter is kind of truly my, my favorite right now. I am also catching up and watching Glee. I don't really have any favorite bands, um, unless you want to count Plum. Plum is a Christian um, artist band, and she's kind of uh, edgy. Yeah, she's really cool something you miss my grandparents I guess if I have to I'd have to miss something also with my new diet I truly miss sugar oh my gosh it's really hard to cut sugar out my favorite song it depends on my mood how old am I I just turned 42 I had a birthday on March 2nd um, my zodiac sign is Pisces but I don't believe any of that I I don't get into that quality I look for in a partner um, integrity because I think the word integrity en encompasses all of the um, the honesty and the truthfulness and the trust and all that kind of stuff all in one favorite quote you will probably hear me say holy hand a lot my favorite actor I really like Jason Statham I think he's pretty hot um, and then the guy who plays Dexter I don't really know his name my favorite color is burgundy. Um, loud music or soft? Both. Uh, but ten times more loud music than soft. Loud and moving. Like I like Zumba and I like things that pump me up, that get me moving. Where do I go when I'm sad? Well, I'm always in my craft room, so whatever mood I'm in, this is where I'm at. How long does it take me to shower? 10 to 15 minutes. I don't time myself. Um, if I feel like hanging out in a hot stream of water for an extra 10 minutes, I will. 
but usually I just it's just wash and go. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? That I don't know because I've never been able to get ready in the morning. <laughs> and by that I mean with kidney disease you're tired all the time so basically I would wash my hair at night wake up in the morning and just wet it down and make sure nothing's sticking up because I could not shower, blow dry my hair, pick out my clothes and get dressed in the morning all in one run because I would be done. That would be my day. I wouldn't get to work. And I never did stop working full time so I would have to say now getting in my shower and blow drying my hair and getting ready I would say anywhere from a half hour to 45 minutes. But I can do it all. So I don't really care how long it takes as long as I can do it. Um, have I ever been in a physical fight? Unless you count wrestling with my twin sister because we like to beat on each other when we were young. I have never been in a fight. I, I don't see the purpose. High school when you would see a fight and everyone go rushing in and like crowd those people and watch, I'd be like the one walking away going like, what's the point? That's stupid. Turn-ons and turn-offs. Um, I don't really want to get into that because that's for my hubby. The reason why I joined YouTube I so desperately wanted to join YouTube when I saw everyone doing crafty videos. And if you go all the way back to the beginning of my videos, um, you will see me doing hand gestures because I was so afraid to start, I couldn't even do any voicing. So you'll see my hands doing like two or four of these or whatever with no voice whatsoever. It was really corny. But anyway, I got over that. Do I have any fears? Yeah, I'm afraid of pain. I have a zero tolerance policy for pain. I Zero. I'm a big baby when it comes to that. The last thing that made me cry was this thing on YouTube. No, not YouTube. Facebook. What the heck was it? Somebody, an elderly couple had dropped off this dog who was having issues. And they have no money and could not pay for it and didn't leave their name or anything and said and asked to have it put to sleep because it wasn't doing well and they'd never been apart from this dog ever but they couldn't afford to put it down and I just bawled like that was so sad and they they're trying to find these people now because the vet actually fixed the issues with the dog and want to return it isn't that awesome anyway I actually did cry Last time you said you love someone, I tell my husband every day when he leaves for work that I love him. So when he left for curling today, I told him I loved him. The meaning behind my YouTube name, my YouTube name is just my name, Jen Evers. That was the easiest thing to do. I like it that way. That way no one has to go, okay, is is it Jen Evers or is it Quality Crafts or is it Sinase or is it... I can just say, just look me up under my name. So much simpler. Um, the last book I read, I don't remember. I, I read books sometimes, but it's so sporadic and I just, I don't always recall them. And the book I'm currently reading, I'm not really currently reading anything right now because I'm usually in my craft room. The last show I watched, ooh, I don't know, it was probably one of those series I mentioned. Because now that I'm feeling good, I haven't been sitting in front of the TV watching the shows anymore because I'd rather be in here crafting. The last person I talked to was my husband. No, that's not true. The last person I, I talked to was on the phone was um, my friend Julie Crabb because we're going to get together for lunch tomorrow. I haven't seen her in a really long time. We used to, we, oh, I thought I had my Y sweatshirt on. I usually do the bright blue one. Um, we used to work at the YMCA and the Child Care Center together, so we're kind of catching up. The relationship with you and the person you last texted. Well, I don't know. Let's check it out. Person I last texted. Oh, it wouldn't have been Charlie. Chuck, my husband. Excuse me. He's at curling and he won the last two games in a row. So he's on a streak. Um, my favorite food, sugar. <laughs> um, candy. Candy's my favorite food, although I have to avoid it now, so I'd have to say probably avocado and fruit right now. Favorite foods. Place I want to visit, 
I think it would really be fun to go something. And my camera cut off on me. So we were on the place to visit. That means I'm at 10 minutes. I better hurry up. Um, a place that I'd like to visit. I'd really like to go somewhere like China or Japan. I just think that'd be cool. I don't know. The last place you were. As in the last place I just was in the kitchen eating dinner, or as in the last place I went on vacation? Well, how about my coolest vacation ever? My ex-husband's family took us all to Jamaica one time. That was an all-inclusive vacation on the beach. It was incredible. Do you have a crush? No, obviously not. I'm married. Last time I kissed someone was Chuck when he left for curling. Last time I was insulted... I don't know, I I tend not to remember that stuff. Although I was attacked by a lady on on um online for a while. It was really bizarre. And I don't even remember her name, so time heals all. Uh favorite flavor of sweet. I don't know what that means. Candy? I love candy. I really love candy. Oh my god. I could just sit and eat a whole bag of licorice or a whole thing of milk duds or a whole thing of, yeah. What instruments do I play? I probably could pick up the flute again. I remember quite a bit of that. Um, I can play the recorder a bit. I can play a few songs on the piano, although I don't know how to play the piano. I can just, like, memorize little ditties. Um, what else? I, I guess that's it. Um, the last sport you played. No, I gotta back up. Favorite piece of jewelry. Oh, I really like this. Let me pull this down. I don't wear a lot of the jewelry that I've had because I've been so sick. Oh, but I really love this. Love, love, love it. I got it from my sister-in-law. It's beautiful. Everything's really big on me now because I've, like, dropped a whole bunch of weight with the surgery and it's just been awesome. Um, the, so the last sport I played, I don't do sports. Dancing. That's my sport. Oh, tap dancing. <laughs> tap dancing would be my sport. The last song I sang was something on my, um, something on my little headset that I do when I walk on the um, treadmill. But I've got all kinds of ditties on there that I sing. I just belt it out while I'm walking. Keeps me moving. Favorite chat up line. Favorite chat up. I don't know what that means. Favorite chat up line and have you ever used them? I'm going to skip that. I don't, I don't know what they're looking for. Um, the last time you hung out with anyone, a co-worker came over yesterday and dropped off daffodils and I hung out with her for a while. That was cool. And who should answer these questions next? Anybody who hasn't been tagged in this TMI. Um, I think most of my friends have been tagged. I've seen a lot of the videos going around already. So any of you guys, consider yourself tagged. Go ahead and do it. Um, I'm going to look really quickly at that other one. That other list had a lot of other really cool crafty stuff on here that this list did not have. Um, kind of like, you know, like how often do you shop for supplies? Um, I am a hoarder. I have so many supplies, I should not be shopping. But I do. I tend to um, I tend to shop Tuesday mornings, Michael's, Joann's. I don't get to Hobby Lobby very often, but it's here. Um, and Goodwill and thrift stores. And I spend about probably um, one of the questions was how much do you spend? What's your crafting budget? About a hundred dollars a month. Although there's a lot of months I don't spend anything, and then there's other months when I spend more than I should. Uh, my favorite tool is my Cameo. I absolutely would. I don't know why I did without it. I love it. Um, where do I go for inspiration? I go to YouTube. I just watch all y'all videos. Um, everything that you put out. I try to do it all. I want to do it all. <laughs> I want to do all the projects you guys put out. So, yeah, sometimes I get a little overwhelmed with that. Another question I remember somebody answering is, have you ever been to tears doing a project? No. No. I, I have a pretty level head. And unless I'm on some kind of medication that makes me weepy, I... What's the 
point in getting that upset about something. I don't, I don't get that upset about stuff. Um, so I don't throw out projects. Um, I just work on them until I like the way they look. I do make things for myself to keep. I don't know what my favorite thing was, although I'll get one thing. me a long time to make because you have to fold every single one of these little pieces of paper but this is one of the coolest things I've ever made and I made it for myself and I only made one and I don't know if I'll ever make another one and do you have any professional or craft training degrees no I'm just artsy by nature and I love it oh uh, what else um, I do work full time. I'm an interpreter for the deaf. I work in an elementary school with the same little girl that I've worked with for the last three years. She's 11 and she's awesome and she's very dependent on me. Um, but she's lovely and my job is awesome. So I will be going back to work on March 26th. And I think this is pretty much the end of the video. So consider yourself tag. Like I said, if you want to do it, do it. It's really fun. It's really cool to get to know everybody. And I will be doing one more face-to-face -face video. Maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow. To um tell you all about my transplant. Love you guys. See you next video.